Where have you been? Oh, you were supposed to be here. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated musical films of 2022. It's... I'm like, it's an extravaganza of Enchanted. It's, it's even more Enchanted. For this list, we'll be talking about the musical films we're most excited to see in the new year. We'll be going through them in chronological order as we know them so far, so diaries at the ready. Wicked won't be on our list as it probably won't make the cut for a 2022 release, but at least it's finally happening. Which musical movie are you most looking forward to seeing in 2022? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Sesame Street. Release date January 14th, 2022. If you grew up on the Sesame Street, you'll be thrilled to learn that this long-awaited movie finally has a release date. When our Muppet pals find themselves unexpectedly kicked out of their home, they team up with TV host Sally Hawthorne to answer the age-old question. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? Anne Hathaway takes on the role of the struggling TV presenter. She'll be joined by Bo Burnham and apparently Chance the Rapper has been in talks as well. Nummy, nummy, nummy. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Um, that was very good, Chance. Elmo liked your energy very much. But the line is, um, nom, nom, nom. First announced in 2012, this movie has had so many setbacks that even The Count would struggle to, well, keep count. Luckily, we don't have to wait too much longer. The countdown continues on Sesame Street. <laughs> 12,310 seconds. Number 9, Sneakerella. Release date May 13th, 2022. Just when you thought that they'd exhausted the Cinderella story, Disney Plus said, hold my glass slippers while we exchange them for sneakers instead. Yes! and you find that really comfortable. In a modern twist, we're introduced to Elle, a talented sneaker designer from Queens. He works in his late mom's shoe shop, all while keeping his artistic skills secret from his stepfamily. Let me at him. Dude, I love it. But when he meets Kira King, daughter to basketball legend and sneaker entrepreneur Darius King, it seems like his dreams might just come true. Yeah, design some sick kicks to show off your talent. At the most exclusive sneaker event of the year. <laughs> that could happen. The movie promises to be filled with exciting music and breathtaking choreography. We can't wait to discover if this Cinderella reimagining is a perfect fit. You're the guy that everybody's been talking about tonight. This is destiny. Number eight, Under the Boardwalk. Release date, July 22nd, 2022. In fair Jersey Shore, where we lay our scene, yep, you heard us correctly. This animated musical is essentially Romeo and Juliet if the Montagues and Capulets were crabs and lived under the Jersey Shore boardwalk. What was the first thing you said before you got here? You don't fall in love with the Jersey Shore. It centers on Armin, a local land crab, and Ramona, a sea crab tourist, who fall in love despite their conflicting backgrounds. What would our father say? I'll tell you what our father would say. He'd say he's gonna kill himself a crab, that's what our father would say. When a storm separates them from their families, they embark on an exciting adventure that will bring everyone together. There is currently a limited amount of information available about this movie, but we're certainly intrigued to learn more. We have to admit that it sounds kind of clawsome. Are you just trying to get me to talk about myself? Because if you are, I will gladly do so. Huh? Number 7. Spellbound. Release date November 11th, 2022. Bringing some magic to your 2022, Spellbound centers around the teenaged alien who must use her powers to reunite her divided kingdom. The movie, which will be released on Apple TV+, boasts an extraordinary cast that includes Sidney Park, Tom Holland, Maya Rudolph, Josh Gad, and Jason Sudeikis. They're gonna give you everything they got for two halves, win or lose. Behind the scenes, they've got John Lasseter and legend of Disney and Broadway, Alan Menken. If you got a brand of magic never fails, you got some power in your corner, now some heavy ammunition in your gap. It's directed by Vicki Jensen, who won the first ever Best Animated Feature Academy Award for Shrek back in 2002. With a winning cast and creative team, we're sure that we'll be left spellbound by this film next fall. Just stick with what it is you want to do and take those, those successes. Number 6. Matilda the Musical. 
Release date December 2nd, 2022. Based on the beloved Roald Dahl classic, Matilda the Musical has been winning audiences over since 2010. <laughs> Now, book writer Dennis Kelly, comedic songwriter Tim Minchin, and director Matthew Warchus have reunited to bring our favorite telekinetic bookworm back to the silver screen. Things that work very well on stage just wouldn't work on, on screen. And what's been really good about that, though, is that Matthew, who's directed this, this also is directing the film, and Matthew is never happy with anything in the best possible way. Alicia Weir stars in the title role, joined by Emma Thompson as Miss Trunchbull and Lashana Lynch as Miss Honey. Stephen Graham and Andrea Riseborough play the Wormwoods, and comedian Sindhu V plays Mrs. Phelps, the librarian. The movie will be released both theatrically and on Netflix. There's nothing you can get from a book that you can't get from a television faster. Whether or not you've actually seen this multi-award winning show, you are in for a treat. Never again will we be Number 5. Disenchanted. Release date, late 2022. Fifteen years ago, Giselle and her friends enchanted us with this hilarious send-up of Disney's princess genre. But she's since learned that happily ever after isn't all it's made up to be. You make me so... so... angry! <laughs> I'm angry. With a spell gone awry, Giselle has until the stroke of midnight to save her family and Andalasia. Maya Rudolph joins the cast as the villain, and Hairspray's Adam Shankman is on board as director. Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz are back with a new original score, too. I get to sing a lot in that one, so. Yes. Okay, good. Some new songs. Yes. They previously earned three Best Original Song Oscar nominations for the 2007 flick. With plenty more music, we'll even get to hear Patrick Dempsey and Adina Menzel sing. Don't sing. It's okay. You know, let's just walk. Can we walk? Okay. Number 4. Hocus Pocus 2. Release date, late 2022. It might not have been an instant hit, but Hocus Pocus put a spell on audiences, becoming a cult classic. About 29 years later? Well, tell us, Winnie. Now the witch is back, and there's hell to pay. This time, they're summoned by three high schoolers who must fight to stop the child-hungry witches from unleashing chaos on modern-day Salem. Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Jimmy are back, as is Doug Jones, who played Billy Butcherson. I've waited centuries to say that. I'll say what you want, just don't breathe on me. We're yet to find out if any other OG cast members will be making an appearance, too. There's also no official date yet, but we imagine that it will drop on Disney Plus in time for Halloween. All Hallows' Eve has become a night of frolic, oh. where children wear costumes and run amok. Amok! Amok, 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 amok! Number 3, Pinocchio. Release date late 2022. Back in 2015, Disney first announced that Pinocchio will become a real boy with a live-action remake. He'll be played by Benjamin Evan Ainsworth, who's joined by an A-list cast. They got strings, but you can see there are no strings on me! This includes Tom Hanks as Geppetto, Cynthia Erivo as the Blue Fairy, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Jiminy Cricket, Keegan-Michael Key as Honest John, and Luke Evans as the Coachman. You are the wildest most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. Nobody deserves you. If that isn't enough, there's also Guillermo del Toro's stop-motion version to look forward to as well. Apparently, this one will be more faithful to Carlo Collodi's original story. Given del Toro's track record with films like Pan's Labyrinth and the Oscar-winning The Shape of Water, we cannot wait. A Pinocchio that talks about uh, things that I consider very deep, but it's fun and it's a musical at the same time, but I find it really, really incredibly moving. Number two, 13 the Musical, release date TBD. Netflix is really going all out with its movie musical adaptations. Joining its ranks is Jason Robert Brown's 13. The emotional life, the situation of it, uh, and the, the interactions between people, I think is, is identical for People of all age. Robert Horn, who co-wrote the stage show, has adapted it for the screen. 
It's about soon-to-be bar mitzvah boy Evan Goldman, who grapples with popularity after his parents separate suddenly and he moves to a new town. It was the only Broadway show to feature an all-teenage cast when it opened in 2008. You might even recognize some of its original cast members. Well, there really are in words to describe how incredible this feeling is. It's just not only to be making your Broadway debut at such a young age, but this whole cast is just like a family. But back to the film. The young cast is supported by Deborah Messing, Rhea Perlman, Josh Peck, and Peter Herman. Sounds like a party to us. The Heart of 13 is the energy of kids. It's basically all about um, how kids grow up and how they let loose and how they express themselves. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Zombies 3. Release date TBD. Now what up everybody? Let me set the scene. Fresh new start for your boy Young Z. The great news is that there's a new Zombies movie on its way. The bad news is that it's likely to be the final one. In a world where zombies, cheerleaders, and werewolves coexist, Zed and Addison, played by Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly, find love. Oh, tell me more, boy. Yeah. Sounds like a fantasy. Oh, oh what could go so wrong with a girl in a zombie? In this third installment, the introduction of alien tweens seems set to upset the status quo. It's up to the others to join forces and save the day. There have been some murmurs about a big alien twist. Perhaps Addison will finally find where she belongs? We guess that we'll have to wait until it's released to find out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.